Infosys CEO Salil Parikh has said that the company is quite prepared to tackle any near-term challenges from the H-1B visa suspension imposed by the US government with a strong localization strategy. He elaborated that since the company is hiring locally in the United States, its dependence on H-1B visas has come down considerably. He added that the Indian IT major will hire more local employees in the US given the growing visa challenges. Amazon India on Sunday said that it's offering temporary or seasonal employment in customer service organization to nearly 20,000 people. The candidates would be required to help customers in India and worldwide with a seamless online shopping experience, the e-commerce major also said. The fresh positions are open in Hyderabad, Pune, Coimbatore, Noida, Kolkata, Jaipur, Chandigarh, Mangaluru, Indore, Bhopal and Lucknow. Though rapidly rising coronavirus cases in the country are a matter of concern, India's recovery rate has been improving by the day. The gap between recoveries and active cases has already exceeded the active cases mark by 1,6661, taking the overall country-wise recovery rate to 58.56% amongst COVID-19 patients. Meghalaya tops the country with a maximum of 89.1% recovery rate, though the number of coronavirus cases in the state is not high as compared to Maharashtra and Delhi. Oil prices fell for a second straight session on Monday as coronavirus cases rose in the United States and other places, leading countries to resume partial lockdowns that could hurt fuel demand. Brent crude dropped 66 cents or 1.6% to $40.36 a barrel, while US crude was at $37.86, down 63 cents or 1.6%. The death toll from COVID-19 surpassed half a million people on Sunday, according to Reuters, a grim milestone for the global pandemic that seems to be resurgent in some countries even as other regions are still grappling with the first wave. The respiratory illness caused by the new coronavirus has been particularly dangerous for the elderly, although other adults and children are also among the 5,1,000 fatalities and 10.1 million reported cases. Walmart-owned Flipkart has bounced back after a nationwide lockdown brought business activity to a standstill with 90% of its sellers resuming activity now. Ever since the e-commerce giant resumed full services, there has been around 125% increase in new seller registrations compared to the current sellers during the April to June period.